course, there were similarities when, you know, you see how people treat disabled people and how they treat animals. Uh, so my name's James Moore. I'm a actor. I'm on Emmerdale at the moment. From when I was really young, you know, when I really struggled with walking and education and stuff like that and being told that I couldn't do certain things because of my disability. And then growing up and becoming an adult and then gaining independence and realising actually they were wrong. You know, and I was able to sort of overcome, not even if it's something I have to overcome, you know, because it's not. It's just something that I have and I'm not overcoming my disability. What I'm overcoming is the stigmatisation of other people towards my disability and how that affected me. Not my actual disability itself, but their treatment of me and people like me. I've been vegan for a few years, so I don't really think about it now, but when, when I was going through that shift, I woke up feeling good. It's better for you personally, health-wise, it's better for the planet, and it's better for, obviously, the animal too. And I feel like we've evolved past the need to consume any animal. A lot of ableism is like almost all prejudices, you know, racism, transphobia, homophobia, born of ignorance. And it's easier than taking the time to get to learn something. And of course there were similarities when, you know, you see how people treat disabled people and how they treat animals. There's always been species in you know, our society, you know, almost as long, or maybe even longer, and there's been ableism. We just didn't always have words for these things, but they've always existed. It's a really painful, horrible moment where you realise, actually, you know, this animal that I love for and care for very dearly and feed is not unlike that other animal that I have chunks of in my fridge. Sometimes you, you kind of have to break that, bridge the gap in your head to realise that actually it's horrible, but it is still the truth. And at least by confronting it and acknowledging it, only then can we really do anything to change it. Being disabled overall has definitely given me more empathy in general because I did have how nasty people can be, you know. And um, I built up a certain level of tolerance to these things through self deprecation and other means. But I think it, it has given me more empathy, and I think it has affected the way I look at other people. And now I'm the species by being vegan and having that empathy. Because I've seen some of that injustice myself and some of that cruelty 
well, you know, by seeing the way. I've been treated by some people, you know, having been kind of marginalised and objectified and called names or mocked or laughed at. And, and when I see it happening to other people, for whatever reason, or even other animals, I feel obliged to speak up. Because if it was me back in the day, I would have wanted someone to speak up for me. You know, so, it's almost the least I can do. Speak up.